Come on, guys, talk to me. By the way, guys, you weren't supposed to take the uh, the Valium yet. If you're all lying there snoring your heads off.
What's that? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, it's not necessarily Messenger, but it's similar. Very similar. Yeah. Can you get everybody get it? No. Yeah, that is a So if if East was had an eight or nine count, they would just pass two clubs. There's no point even inviting, really. Um, so with their nice ten count and a four card major, they they can afford three clubs easily. Over three clubs, again, if East, if sorry, if West was lower range, they would just pass three clubs. They're in a nine card fit. There's no reason, even if East has got a bursting ten count, if they're sat there with twelve or thirteen, there's no point trying to reach a dodgy three no trumps. Um, so as soon as West bids three diamonds, it's showing four five in the minors, um, definitely denying having a four card major, and East is is happy to oblige because they know that West must be maximum as well.
So here, um, with the reasonable eight, it's worth West making one try for something better over two diamonds. So the bid two hearts, which only promises four. Uh, if East had bid two spades, they would pass that. When East bids, if East had bid three diamonds, they would pass that. But when East bids three clubs to show 5-4 in the minors, or maybe even a lower range 5-5 five, five in the minors, they're quite happy to pass. Um, no need for West to go off the deep end here, because um, they know East is 11-15, they've only got an 8 count, and a fairly quacky one at that.
just just in case that you haven't clocked that what I'm saying there um, over one diamond one heart two hearts two no trumps three spades is forcing us to the four level in either red suit so if you only want to be in a heart or a diamond game for that matter opposite a singleton spade i.e. a singleton club is no good to you then you can't use that two no trump inquiry because if partner's got a singleton uh, club they're going to bid three spades over two no trumps and you're going to be forced to the four level regardless so in those circumstances you just bid an invitational three hearts instead over two hearts and that pretty much shows the sort of hand that only wants to be in game if partner has a spade shortage. Everything else apart from two no trumps is uh, and that two spade rebid uh, by responder is strictly natural. So the two spade just demands a two no trump relay if uh, if responder wants to play in two no trumps then they obviously just pass two no trumps if they bid anything else then they're promising five card spades and whatever else their rebid over two no trump suggests.
so here north's got cover um, everywhere particularly they do have cover in clubs so happy to bid three no trumps um, the two no trump bid will generally show a fairly strong diamond suit so ace x opposite should be quite sufficient to give us six tricks uh, in diamonds at least so three no trumps is just the obvious bid I'm not sure if I've got a three diamonds No, I haven't. You alright? Come on, Esther. Come on, guys. It's no fun for me to sit because I can... S I can see all 52 cards and I set the hands. Come on, somebody uh, partner Roger. Esther, come on. Sona, Nuri, give it a try. Come on. All right. Well, if nobody's going to sit, we'll just have to go home. I'm not going to play three hands out of four. If nobody's prepared to sit, then we'll just have to give up on the practice side of this. Come on, guys, don't be selfish. Come on, just two more. There must be two of you Turkish guys who feel like giving this a go please come on oh well done Sanya come on last one one more
think for today, guys, by the way, um, leave out the interference unless it's really obvious to do it. Just give people a practice at... Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I meant, Nuri, is that I don't think it's obvious to come in here. <coughs> but never mind. Just, Nuri, just pass. I don't really want interference today unless it's absolutely obvious. Let people just get the, uh, the mainstream sequences straight in their head. So this is just a, a 13 to 15 one no trump, Roger. And you treat it exactly the way that you would treat a 13 to 15 opening one no trump. <coughs> the only difference is that, is that opener knows that you're 8 to 10. So, Sanya, here, you want to super accept, mm, no, you want to super accept hearts here, Sanya. The way, just undo, undo two hearts, Sanya. Sanya, can you hear me? <laughs> no, well, you, you can super accept hearts, but you want to show... No, no, not two spades. Undo two spades. Two spades shows a, a worthless doubleton in clubs, which is not what you want to show. Just wait a minute till I finish talking, Sanya. So here you want to show a worthless doubleton in spades. So ignoring the trump suit, you bid the suit below that. So three diamonds shows a maximum hand. A worthless doubleton in spades and four card heart support. Indeed. Okay, um, just claim ten tricks. You're probably going to make eleven. Okay, just for the sake of example here, suppose North had just bid two hearts over two diamonds. Would three diamonds by Roger now be game forcing? No, it wouldn't. It is showing a maximum, 
but it is it can only be invitational that's the other thing that slightly changes about um, these sequences is that it's it's strongly invitational three diamonds but it can't be forcing um, How do you mean, Vladimir? Uh, bid four hearts over. Over. Well, no, because, um, Vladimir, sorry, what you may not realise is that two diamonds over one no trump is a two way bid. South doesn't have to have hearts in our system. It's two diamonds is a two way transfer. It's either got hearts. Or it's a, a strongly invitational hand to three no trumps with potentially any distribution. So he doesn't have to, South doesn't have to have hearts here. It's not a normal transfer. Okay? Anybody else got any questions? Vladimir was suggesting that that in that last hand, North, sorry, South should just bid four hearts immediately over. Um, sorry, that North should bid four hearts immediately over two diamonds. So again, West must be maximum here, otherwise they would just pass two spades. Okay. 
Okay, Roger. Lead away. Um. Very good, well done. Personally, I would bid two spades with the east hand over one heart. I think I would treat that east hand as maximum. Um, good points in the long suits. That ace jack ten nine of diamonds is always useful for taking two finesses potentially. Um, but there's no problem with bidding two diamonds. It's it's uh, again you're only going to get to to a game here if west is maximum for their eight to ten. So two hearts is natural, two spades is natural, um, and as soon as West bids three spades, they must be max, otherwise they would just pass two spades. Um, and knowing that West has got a nice ten count, East is, is definitely worth game, I think, here. This is the game you want to be in. Um, Certainly, look, once you can see all four hands, but even before that. Any questions?
Um, Esther, it's your lead. Sneaky one. Okay, claim nine. Okay, anybody got any comments or questions about the bidding here? I've got one comment, but I'll let you have your, your say first. Okay, what I was going to say here is that, that there's nothing wrong with three no trumps as a bid by North. But if partner had a singleton spade and queen XX in clubs, you could come unstuck in three no trumps. Club to the ace, small spade through, and you're potentially going to lose four spade tricks now. Whereas if partner's got a singleton club and three card spades or two two, it's very unlikely that ops are going to be able to run uh, five tricks quickly. Um, so personally, I think I would have bid two no trumps over two hearts, that forcing inquiry. South would show a singleton club with three spades. And now you've got a happy bit of three no trumps because you've got absolutely nothing to fear from club leads by anybody. You take my point, Sanya. Um, okay. I, I mean... In practice, you would be very unlucky. Um, I, I would bid two spades with your hand. He might have spades, and you're, you know, if it turns out he's got six card diamonds, one thing you can be sure of is that when he bids two diamonds, he isn't 5 3 3 2. So he has got another four card suit somewhere. So probably when you bid two spades, the likelihood is is that you you haven't got a bare eight count. I'm not sure I would bid two spades with a a bare eight. Um, now Roger can bid three hearts. And again you might bid three no trumps, but but you might pass three hearts on the basis that you've now got a known four three fit. And you've got your um, uh, your roughing value in diamonds, and similarly, Roger might well pass two spades or even bid three spades with his roughing value in clubs. Okay. Anybody else got any questions? I mean, the other thing you could do over over uh, two diamonds is to bid two no trumps. Now Roger would bid three hearts. And personally, I think I would bid four hearts over three hearts. But... Um, You'd probably come unstuck on this particular hand, because ops are probably going to take the first four tricks. Three no trumps is ideally where you want to be. It's just a matter of trying to guide the way the bidding to it.
The thing is, Sanya, you say that, and yet two hearts is showing a maximum hand. So south is showing a 15 count, and you've got a nice 10. There's absolutely no problem in bidding two no trumps or even, or even three no trumps as you did do. But over two diamonds, um, south could still be up a range if they've only got five diamonds and, say, four clubs. So I think it would be wrong to, to just pass two diamonds. Personally, I bid two spades, um, just as a forward-going move. But there's no question that North's decision is a bit more difficult over two diamonds than it is over two hearts. Over two hearts, he's got a clear-cut two-spade bid. Or two no-trumps. OK, let's move on. If anybody else wants to sit, just let me know. We've got quite a few more hands to come yet. Six point eight, six point eight. It's all good. The thing Esther has to remember here is that the only time here that West will have a four card major is if they are maximum. And the times when that's going to happen is quite rare. Um, so it's enough for, we for East to bid three clubs here because if three clubs shows a maximum doesn't deny having a major so if West is maximum with a major and a poor club suit they're going to show it over three clubs so you don't really lose any possibility here Okay, well done. Lead and claim. Nothing in the play here.
You to lead, Sanya. It's a tough decision. Okay, well done. So, do you see my point? There's, there's no need over two clubs, over two diamonds. East got an easy two heart bid. That's fine. Um, over two clubs, I don't think it's worth giving East shape. I don't think it's worth introducing a major at this stage because a, it's going to be very rare um, that West will have a maximum hand but a club suit that's insufficiently good to open two clubs. Um, if perchance they do, then if East bids three clubs, the first thing West is going to do, knowing that East is a maximum, is to show their major. Anybody got any questions? Anybody else want to sit? Sorry, it's been a long, tiring day.
Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine tricks. Okay, well done. Uh, no problem with that sequence at all. Um, two no trumps pretty much has to be a maximum ten, I think. Um, three clubs probably gets you to three no trumps as well. Um, in the sense that I think East can tell that West must have most of their points in the majors if they've got a bid worth three clubs. Um, they can't have much in clubs, even if they have the ace. The other way would be for West to bid two hearts over two diamonds. Um, now East would probably bid three clubs. And the problem now is that West doesn't have the information that East is maximum. East could be minimum and still bid three clubs. Um, so on that sequence... East might pass three, sorry, might, sorry, West might pass three clubs. But uh, no problem with two no trumps, three no trumps. That's a fine sequence. Anybody got any questions or comments? Okay. Nuri has fallen asleep. The clue as to what to bid was in the name of the lesson, which is on one diamond, one heart sequences, Nuri. <laughs> Nuri, are you there? Good man, good man.
Okay. Uh, let's see. Claim 11. In fact, claim 12 on this lead. In fact, you might you might even make all 13. Okay, anybody got any comments or questions on the bidding? I have. Esther knows what I'm going to say. Okay, personally, I bid three spades over two spades. I don't bid clubs. You've got a lovely roughing value in hearts. Three spades makes it really difficult if north-south have a heart fit and want to try and find it, whereas three clubs allows them to potentially come in at the three level. Not very likely, but it's not impossible. Personally, I bid three spades over two spades. That immediately gets across to west the fact that east is probably maximum. Otherwise, they can quite happily pass two spades. And it makes it more difficult for north-south to compete. Um, if it turns out west has only got four card spades, it should still be playable. But much of the time, they're going to have five or more. Anybody else got any questions? You see what I mean, Esther? One of these days, I'm going to get you to support on three card support for a major. One of these days. Most of you are on that list, Sanya. You got to go over, get over this morbid fear of Moise and Fitz.
It's just natural, Roger. Probably, probably a maximum ten count. No. Nope. Balanced, balanced ten count. Do the math, Roger. Oh, you wimp. <laughs> Sorry, Roger, did you say did you take that as a hint? <laughs> Okay. No, I mean, actually, the problem here is that I think South should bid two no trumps over one heart. Although, actually, this sequence worked very nicely because you got a heart lead rather than a spade lead. <coughs> but you're always making nine tricks. Um... even on a spade lead but uh, personally I would bid two no trumps over one heart with the south hand six card diamonds maximum semi balanced i.e. 6322 two, scattered values I think two no trumps speaks the south hand perfectly But certainly over two no trumps, given that two no trumps is a maximum ten balanced, I think even if you take away the jack of spades, I think probably south just has to go for it. On a bad day you're going to be very unlucky. But if, if north hasn't got the ace of diamonds, the chances are... They've got two honours in spades. So three no trumps ought to be playable. Okay, last one coming up, then I'm going to uh, head off. Yeah, welcome. Suit below, Sanya, don't forget.
So if any of you have forgotten range beta, the responses are just just have an extra um, an extra step at the start. I one one step is one step is lower range and so on. Anything else is upper range. Very good, well done. Actually, I want to... Uh, it would have been nice to, to play this one out. Anyway, well done everybody. Hopefully that's given you a bit of a, a grounding in the complex one diamond, one heart sequences. Next week we'll do uh, one diamond, one spade, and then one diamond, one no trump the week after. No, only because it's a chance for a nice lead directing uh, lead directing return by West. To lead back the three of diamonds and get East to underlead their Ace Queen of Clubs at trick three to get a second diamond rough. Would you have done it, Esther and Nuri? Okay, thanks everybody. See you next time, next week, same time. It would just have been interesting to see if they found it, but I uh, allowed you to claim too quick. But that's what defensive signalling is all about. When you're expecting to give partner a rough, and West knows that East is going to rough because he knows.